Our research um, as a part of the, the HI, or the Helmholtz Alberta Initiative, uh, is really focusing on something that uh, people have called carbon storage, which is an element of carbon capture and storage, which is the range of technologies, a sequence of technologies that capture carbon uh, in emission streams, uh, refineries, coal-fired power plants, things like that, capture the, the CO2, uh, the carbon in, in CO2, um, transport it, and using wells injected into subsurface uh, geological formations uh, for permanent storage. And so our research uh, as a part of the Helmholtz Alberta Initiative is dealing with the storage component. We're worrying about how carbon dioxide can be injected safely uh, and economically into these subsurface geological formations. How do you prove that it's going to stay there for 500 years, 100 years, 500 years, 1,000 years? How do you do that? Our German colleagues uh, at the GFZ uh, in Potsdam have developed uh, Germany's only uh, CO2 injection pilot called Ketzin. Uh, and they, they have done a, just an absolute remarkable job at um, implementing that project. There is a, a new project being developed for a, a saline aquifer storage project in Western Canada in which the Helmholtz Alberta Initiative research package for carbon storage has elements that feed into that actual field project. And so that kind of experience uh, brought together on a series of projects that look at large-scale simulation, how, how to do that uh, and marry that with the, the monitoring data. Um, well integrity, uh, cements, behavior of well systems, how do they behave, what kind of instrumentation, how do you abandon wells. And this is the sandstone uh, from the... Some of the stuff, the equipment you see in the, in the uh, background yeah, here is used to determine how formations will behave when you're injecting CO2 and temperature changes and pressure changes. Um, well, there's a counterpart it in uh, GFZ as well that's working on those kinds of things. Fantastic opportunity. So these kinds of samples would fit inside the, the cell um, and pressures and temperatures uh, are placed on the sample and CO2 is injected. Some of these. The world of carbon capture and storage as, as envisioned, if you like, in terms of it being one of the more meaningful portfolios or a meaningful portfolio of CO2 emission reduction means that it has to be deployed at large scale. You know, in order to be able to, to run those projects with people who have some knowledge about the world of carbon storage, all of the elements associated with carbon capture and storage, it really needs to come from the graduate student world. It needs to come from researchers, graduate students, postdoctoral fellows, um, you know, even, even research engineers. That, that actually is probably one of the more exciting parts of the Helmholtz Alberta Initiative. That kind of expertise in Germany, that kind of expertise here, and being able to have the transfer programs, sharing of knowledge, sharing of graduate students back and forth, uh, researchers, um, really uh, absolutely outstanding.